um, uh, and, and a common tool uh, tells us that they, this was a prized possession. This meant something to them, the legionnaire. He would use this quite often. And uh, it was important because, like I said, they, they were working constantly. You could say that he spent more time um, as a builder than actually a warrior, the Roman soldier. So um, they were definitely working constantly um, with hammers, um, axes, pickaxes. They had many engineering uh, tools. I mean, they were professional in that sense. They had um, engineers, um, land surveyors, and, and stuff like that. So um, one of the reasons, now, when they weren't marching, sorry, when they weren't building, they were marching. Now, to answer the question uh, the person asked earlier, before the Reformation, they had huge um, supply chains with animals and wagons carrying most of the supplies, okay? Uh, and that, Marius thought that that slowed them down. It was too much. He thought that if he reduced it and only carried the things that they really needed and he made the soldier himself carry it, uh, it would improve the army. And although the soldiers initially weren't crazy about that idea, uh, it proved to be a very successful move. So here we have a furka, okay? This is the rutsuck or backpack of the Roman legionnaire in those days, okay? As you can see, um, the word furca basically means fork in Latin, uh, because originally it looked like a Y-shaped uh, pole. They must have took a branch that had like a two prongs and they made it like that. Eventually they'll make a crossbar, as you can see. And um, here he has his sack. Um, we don't know exactly what the contents are, uh, but we want to believe that he would have had a, maybe another change of clothes, another tunic. Uh, because remember, they would march on it for, um, uh, for many hours. They'd work for uh, hours in hot sun. Um, another pack, uh, another change of socks, um, perhaps another Caligai. This was his cloak, but it also doubled as a blanket for at night. Uh, a canteen of some sort, which he would have put either water um, or oil. Okay. Um, and there were more things like that. He would actually even have the Dolabra uh, on here. Um, as part of his pack, okay? So, um, Zach is now gonna put that on there, carry it. Uh, in addition to his kid, um, the Roman soldier had this weapon known as the pilum. Can you see that? Everybody can see that? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, Paul? Yeah, it's here. It's here. We see it just okay, fine. So what, what this is, is basically a javelin. It's not a spear. It's made to be thrown. It's a one-use weapon. Uh, you could say it's kind of like a, a an advance, uh, a preemptive strike, let's say, um, when they're going to march and engage on the enemy uh, and they see an opportunity, they're gonna all throw these at the same time. And the object of this weapon is to um, the soldier, the enemy would obviously have a shield. If he doesn't have a shield, he's really in trouble. Uh, it would pierce the shield and hopefully break an impact. Uh, two things can happen with that. One, it stays in the shield, uh, making it really hard for the enemy to, to carry the shield moving forward. Uh, or the enemy will then have to abandon the shield uh, because of this thing that's now in the way. Uh, so this will now be an advantage for the Roman soldier because now he has um, a soldier that's un, um, that doesn't have shield. So the legionnaire would carry two of these, not one. Um, so he's actually going to have two of these. Okay. 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 Uh, carry that to the side. set up the way it was one of the reasons it was is that i mean think about it. they could have you could see zach's got his both his hands full right it would have been made sense it would have made sense if he had a backpack of some sort um this way it would have strapped him on his body and then he could free one of his arm levers uh, but they didn't do that why uh primarily because in the event of an ambush remember these people were, were marching constantly um and he was attacked he could simply let go and he would be free from this load Versus if he had back strap on a backpack, he would then have to like get the straps off. That could take a second or two, and you know every second counts when you're being attacked. So this is the one of the reasons they opt with this setup, and it actually uh, turned out to be a pretty effective way of carrying your equipment. How do you feel, Zach? Tell me. To be honest with you. It's pretty heavy and then uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. It's 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 it can be comfortable if you know how to like hold it in, in place, but I know it's, it's it gets hard to get used to. All right. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm gonna try to wear it every day so that yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's just carry one. Let's just okay. Carry one. Okay. 
right? And then that, and Dak's gonna demonstrate. Yeah, I don't think any parsing is attacking us today. Yeah, no parsing. <laughs> yeah, being a little legionnaire is not easy. Okay, so <laughs> try, try to keep okay, yeah, like that. Like okay, that. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Sure. Okay. Now Zach's gonna demonstrate walking. He's not gonna walk 20 miles. Are you? you to take the phone out, and then what you can do is you I'm gonna can, rotate it. No, no. What you can do is take the take the phone out. Let me show you. Can you hold this for a sec? Um, and then uh, I, as I'm walking, you're going to be just pointing the phone toward me. Here, hold this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do rotation. So now you're going to take the phone. And as I'm walking, you can just take it. What? Um, Here. We don't have to take it out of the tripod. No, no, no. You just, you just okay. point and I'm going to walk. Okay. You just you hold this. And I'll hold it. Sorry. Sorry. Just point toward me. Uh. Yeah, do you mind like filming? Well, oh, okay, yeah. Just film. Right. Oh, let me let me see. Yes. Good. It should be more comfortable, right? Yeah, very much more comfortable. Right. It should be as close to as possible. 